Ladies and gents, hope y'all are doing well. It is Sunday, still, or at least at the time of recording, still stuck here in Cape Town. <laughs> it's been like five, six months. I think coming up on six months since I've been back in London. Um, but anyways, can't complain. Just finished a, a good book, Quiet Sunday. <sighs> doing some work reflecting. But point of this video is for another incredible student interview. So. Blaze actually billed one of his clients, I, I think early on in the video, I said 35,000, but I think the exact number was like 38,000 something, something uh, for his percentage of basically his performance fee. Um, and yeah, you know, it's not every day. I think the the um, record that we had was 30,000 euros, which comes out to like $33,000 or something was the most that a, uh, an agency incubator student has billed their client. You know, I like to lead the pack and lead the way and, and really be a shining example for my students, but I've got to hold my hands up and say that I've never even gone past 20,000. I've gone in the mid like 15, 16, no, most was like $18,000 that I've ever billed uh, between base and performance for a client. Like I'm, I haven't even gone into the 20s, let alone the 30s, like um, Antti, who was the guy who charged $33,000 and uh, Blaze, who just charged the client 38,000 for, uh, for his billables for that month, so. Yeah, you know, it's always a it's always a super dope moment where like I'm inspired by my students, by like the action they're taking and uh, the results they're getting for their clients. And in turn, um, you know, the performance kickback that they take for themselves. So look, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm just going to roll straight into the interview. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see next uh, in terms of videos for this extended channel. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the student interview. We are here with Blaze, and um, yeah, I'm super, super amped uh, to get into this one because, um, quite frankly, I think you run your agency in a, a, a very different way uh, from most people. And um, you know, it's not every day that you bill one client, you know, over, well over thirty five thousand dollars <laughs> in billables for a month. Uh, you know, that's a I don't know. We need we need a step above the whale for for that one, uh, for that territory. <laughs> I think I, 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 th I think you it's have dinosaur. broken. The, it's a dinosaur. Yeah, isn't it? It's a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Prehistoric times. I think I think you've broken the record. I think the, the previous record I think was thirty four thousand um, dollars in a single month from Anti. Um, so yeah, I think you've broken the record. So yeah, congrats. Thirty eight thousand. Thirty eight thousand nine hundred to be exact. So you've broken, you've broken the, the okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are uh, getting a little ahead of ourselves. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, your agency, how you got into this whole thing? Yeah, um, definitely. Um, I think story tells a lot about, you know, how people get into something and how they decide to do a different route. Uh, I think, you know, story, there is a story behind everything. So my story really goes back like the beginning was in 2017. I was in the Netherlands studying strategic uh, entrepreneurship and whatever that was. I still have no idea. I couldn't figure out how, how is that beneficial for me. But to be frank, I studied, <laughs> I studied, I studied marketing. I studied e commerce and marketing, zero online marketing, like zero knowledge in online marketing. Um, and then I went to that um, course, uh, no, sorry, uh, education uh, in the Netherlands. Like it was really hard to get in. It's like a golden award um, economic class. Everyone was like super, you know, focused on the um, on the curriculum and being the best. And I was just there, and like I was like a good student. I was always a good student. I was just sitting there. I'm like, okay, like after we learn all this, what's going to happen? Like, what is the implication? Why is it important for us? Like, and and I always was quite. I always always was the guy asking the questions. And then all the teacher was like, yeah, dude, just learn a freaking lesson and, and just move on. And I'm like, but why? But why? So that, I that, ended up... That, that's, yeah. that's very... Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but that's yeah, one of go. the biggest attributes I've seen of successful people. It's like, you, you know, from the beginning, it's like, I don't... I don't. It, it's not enough for you to tell me to do something. I want to know why should I do yeah, it exactly. and why should I do it a certain way? So, yeah, it's... I mean, people hate people like you and me where we, we can't yeah. just take a simple... like. Like you and I can't accept simple truths because we know it. Nothing is, is that simple. Or if it is, uh, there has to be a reason behind it. And you can't just tell someone to do something just because that, that's not a good enough reason. So exactly. I, I love the fact that um, <laughs> you're a little mischievous. 
So I remember I was sitting there um, and my brother told me to, hey, it just hit me up on Instagram. He's like, hey, buddy, have you seen this guy? It's very great. And the guy was Gary Vaynerchuk. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. So I started to watch the videos of Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, listening to podcasts, even while I was training in the gym, just like keep feeding my mind. And that's where the magic happened. That's when I realized that I'm probably going the wrong way, um, wanting to become a, a consultant at BCG, McKinsey, Baines, take up a suit um, and just live the fancy lifestyle that's really predicted for those people. And I decided to take a different route. Um, I told mom and dad I quit school. They just started to freak out, especially because dad is a teacher. He's a principal of a, of a high school. So it's like, what the fuck is doing going on? I'm paying your fee and everything, you know, to go to this gun, like whatever. Um, I just want to figure this one out. And I called my good friend um, and told, hey, you want to come to Netherlands, figure out what sort of business you want to do. Had a list of like 40 items, like, you, you know, these are the things I want to do. Started to cross them out one by one. Um, had a good, had a good teacher who was, um, who was teaching entrepreneurship for us. And I called him, I'm like, Hey, do you have like, it, the, the, the dude was making around like, she was like 10 million a year or something like that in like profit in his business. I'm like, Hey, do you have like half an hour? He was like, who are you? I'm like, ah, I was the, you know, and, and he realized who am I? I'm like, yeah, cool. Like just scheduling for like two weeks ahead. I'm like, well, he's super busy. <laughs> um, and I jumped on the call, like, you know, blasted all my crazy ideas on him. And he was like. Yeah, dude, no, 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 no. And I was like, what is it going to be? And I crossed out every single item. I was like, okay, but I know marketing. How about I start an online marketing agency? It was like, okay, that's simple. That's, sort of, that's something you can start with. Because I had like crazy ideas, like building an AI business for optimizing um, fitness, you know, nutrition, training, all that. It's like, dude, it's not going to work out. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. Like, let's, let's take the simple way. Uh, online marketing agency It's going to be fun. I started it. I had zero, I had zero idea. I was not YouTube savvy. So I didn't really know where to look for information. So I was like, I don't even need information. I'm just going to figure out. So I thought it's going to be, and it's just insane. If I go back in time and think about why I thought it's going to be, I was thinking, I just going to do whatever it takes. So if they need a landing page, it's going to learn how to build a landing page. If they want Facebook ads, they're going to learn it. YouTube ads, short, SEO, short, everything. And so I went after people trying to sell my service for like 100, 200, maybe 300 US dollar. I'm talking about the Hungarian niche, I'm um, sorry, the Hungarian country, um, sorry, Hungary, where the average salary is on like 700 US dollars. So that's, that's like really a different game. Um, but still, that was like super shitty money for, for learning everything, right? Uh, but I was just humble. I keep hitting up these people, keep getting those. <laughs> it's like too expensive. I'm like, how can... Uh, whatever, right? And so, and so I ended up giving up. Um, I gave up on this because I realized that I invested so much time. I was not making money. It, but it, I was feeling terrible. I was working every Saturday, Sunday, not partying, you know, following all the Gary V, you know, um, all the Gary V advices, what, what not to do and what to do and the mindset we have. Um, and I was kind of, I felt like I have a really strong willpower. I learned it from, uh, from sports. I have a you know, background in sports uh, from the age of like six. So I was like, I was just going all in, like heads down. And like, whatever I felt, I'm like, this is just not real. I just going to need to push through. And I realized it's going to be a long push through. Like I might break in the process. So I stopped and I, and, and I told to myself, like, it is not going to work this way. So let's do something else. So I started to look into something else. I started, I wanted to build a business around like um, my personality, like personal brand, fitness, all that. So I started po posting, out, posting content, putting out content, uh, putting out myself. And people were getting back to that. People were resonating with it. I was keep getting messages, but I was like, I built like four, three, 4,000 people in like half a year for like shitloads of time. I'm like, this is not going to work. Like this is going to be a shitloads of time. Like this is probably not the right time to you know, start this. Or maybe I'm missing something. Uh, actually, there was a lot of things that I was missing. So I was like, okay, let's do something else. Um, then I started the marketing automation business, uh, which turned out to be okay-ish. I was making around like $1,000 per month with that business. Um, but then, but then pff, that was just not sustainable. And, and I, did, I was not passionate about it. It was just like, yeah, it just bought. Like, it was not cool at all. Um, so then I started an e-commerce brand, uh, a fitness e-commerce brand, an apparel brand for natural bodybuilders. Um, then I realized that it's, it's a super competitive niche. Like I tried to, to try to run basic Facebook as I'm like, 
this is how it's going to be. I just run Facebook ads and boom. And then I started to talk with people and I realized, okay, e-commerce is freaking competitive. Fitness is one of the most competitive niche of e-commerce. And apparel, when you're competing with Jim Shark, Vanquish, all the others, no way. Um, I need, like, I need a massive team. So what can I do? I gave up on that one as well because that was, I just, need, I, I just need to understand I cannot really, like, push through. It's not going to work. So I need to find something. At, at that time, I was in London um, living at my business mentor's place. Uh, he's called David. And literally, I had, like, 200 pounds on my, on my, on my name. Um, and I was even thinking like, okay, I really need to save the money if I want to fly back to Hungary. <laughs> and like, he, he was, he was kind of feeding me. I was training him. So I was his, um, at home personal trainer. And he was teaching me, um, uh, because he was in the, he was in business for 10 years at that time. And that was the time, uh, when I, when I encountered your, uh, YouTube video, I still remember the day, super tiring, long day, messing around with my, uh, e-commerce brand and at like one like all the others went to party it was a saturday there was like blake blake come on you need to go out you know you need to enjoy yourself life is just it's gonna end so it's not all about working i'm like no 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 no, no. i really like i really need to get this one sorted out so i stayed home uh, and i couldn't sort it out and i was upset and i felt all the misery and then i was about to go to bed and i was just like okay let's just watch a youtube video bye I just went, because I needed dopamine. I was like, I was, I felt like so terrible. <laughs> I started to watch a YouTube video and that was you with a video. So I'm like, hey, um, my name is Ivan Gazi. I just made 200,000 US dollar in a single month at the age of 18, high school dropout, everything. And to be honest, dude, I was just like sitting there. I'm like, fuck this bullshit. Like, come on, like, what is this? Like, why people do this to me? Like, they want to scam people. I, that's how I felt like. <laughs> another freaking scammer right like i'm a freaking, freaking scammer um wanna take my 200 pounds on my name and i'm like and i, and I even thought like ah, fuck this but i was like how how could this be so i clicked on it and that's <laughs> that's when everything changed because i watched the video and i was still upset but i was like well, if this guy can do that why like is he is he like so, it must be something super genius or something like that it must be just so much i don't know like what was the secret so I started to, started to watch your videos, subscribe, started to watch your videos, trying to figure out the secret. Um, and then I, I really figured out that the secret is to, is to learn from people who have done it before. Like, I guess that's your secret as well, right? Um, at the right time, you start to hire people who walk the path and you start to learn from them. And it's simple as that. Just be humble and start learning from the people. That's when I decided, and just got to be very honest with you, um, Hungarian people would never buy something that they, they don't need. They always try to, try to do something not to buy. Like, they just want to go around. So what I did, I was just like, I couldn't afford your program because I had 200 pounds and yours was like seven or 800. So I was like, is there any way I can find someone who can give me the login? So I started to like find someone who give me the I've wasted so much time. I've wasted two days to find your program. I find your program on a website I paid like 30 US dollar for a random guy on PayPal to give me the video course, even though I know that the Facebook course is the value, but I just wanted to watch the videos to understand <laughs> what's going on. So I paid the $30, I downloaded your program, and I started watching your program. I stopped everything I was doing, I stopped the eco, I stopped everything, and I was watching your program. I binged what it in like three days or something like that. Is, it, is this the old one, Six Figure SMA? Yeah. And I've taken notes. I just, I just taken notes. And dude, you were, you literally, with that program, you just shifted my mind. I was just sitting there. I was like, I was like this makes so much sense. But everything <laughs> was like, fuck. And I was just hitting my head to the wall. Like, how could I be, how could I be thinking this instead of that? And so that's when I, that's when I, that's when I thought that, okay, um, two, two, three months from now, I'm, I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> And that's how I felt ever since, like ever since then, and, and remember that was two eight, at the end of 2018, I felt that it's going to be like, like this with that knowledge. Turns out it's not, not that easy. Um, you still need to put in a lot of work. You still need to do major fuck ups and uh, face new major things in order to understand how you can grow a business. There's no shortcut for that, obviously, no matter what, how, you know, who you hire, hire it's not going to happen. Um, so then I started watching your videos, started implementing the knowledge. Uh, I got my first client in 2019 April, around 2019 April. So like three to four months in, 
I managed to close a gym in Hungary for a thousand dollar, which was actually a lot of money because most gym, like most gym owners, run paid traffic for like two hundred US dollar. They they spend one hundred to two hundred US dollar on paid traffic if they do anything at all in Hungary. So this mm. dude, this dude was like, he just sat down with me and he was like, you, dude, you are so freaking passionate. I was like, I wanted to figure out what was this. So he just gave me a chance and we. And we started running his ads. I was almost working for him full time. Uh, we did consulting, run the ads, and did everything for the guy. And after two months, he called me and said, hey, Blaze, can you stop the campaigns because we cannot deal with the deals, uh, the leads. I was like, they're like way too much leads. There's no, like, well, I don't know what to do. I'm like, don't freak out. I gotta go there and train your team how to deal with them. So I was like, <laughs> I was just like, keep, you know, keep pushing them. So it's ended up a big success story. Um, they got a lot of leads and I, I just boosted my confidence. So I went out for more people, um, closed an e-commerce client for like 2000 um, US dollar. That was like after like two to three months after this. And then um, got a, a racing, an Olympic racing course called Chaco Blue. The owner just wanted to build a brand of Chaco Blue uh, because it had a net worth of around like six, seven million dollar. Um, so it was like, yeah, we can get Facebook likes, likes for sure. And then once you figure out how to monetize, we can just help you with that. Start to work with them. There was a transportation company, but the problem I was facing, and I guess the reason I'm telling this story, because I want people to understand, this is really the initial phase they usually are in, when they don't really know what they want to do. They just take on everything they can. They, they know they can solve their problem. And where I ended up being is that I had no process or what, whatsoever, anything on how to communicate with them. I, I never really had a proper team at that time because I was like, how can I build a team around like something I don't know what it is? If you don't know what it is, you cannot build a you know, proper team around it. And I just, it was not consistent. Like I never knew where the next money would come from. Um, they were like good month, bad month. And fast forward to 2019 November when I, when I felt like I don't want to work with Hungarian because it was all Hungarian people. And I figured that I don't want to work with Hungarian people. And the reason I tell this story is that um, you probably don't know because you, you, you've grown in, but you probably know because you talk to people, but you, you started your agency in um, UK, right? And you, you were working mm-hmm. with UK and US clients. And I see a lot of people from the community, maybe from, I don't know, Croatia, Slovakia, Romania, wherever it is. Point is, it's just, guys, it's just so much harder <laughs> to start there. So if you, if you have a good enough English, don't try to launch your, just don't, just don't try to deal with that problem. It's just, it's just something you cannot really solve as a, as a young business owner who's just starting his business. Um, so you would be better to just go for the US UK clients, uh, period. And um, that's something I realized. And then after you, like, once you have some passion, you have anything you are passionate about, um, that's, that's the one that you have to, you know, triple down. Like, it doesn't matter where the money would come from. You would figure out where the money would come from once you can resonate with the people. And so that's when I realized, uh, talking to a lot of people, that it should be about fitness. First, I thought it's going to be, you know, fitness lead generation for, for gyms. But I figured it's like fitness is what I'm passionate about, but I'm not passionate about gym owners. Like I don't, they are just older I have a different mindset. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't really help them. I couldn't really resonate with them. So that's when I realized I should help fitness influencers, period. Like that's my niche. Uh, so I started coming the niche research, like I started to learn all about them. And that's when I encountered Adam. And uh, that was a lot of back and forth, but we, but we finally signed, you know, signed the papers with him, partnered up with another agency, started to work with him. And, uh, and boom, we made, we made around like 140,000 US dollar profits on the ads in the first 30 days of running the ads. And I, I think my knowledge on how to run the ads and my passion was the same nine months before. I haven't learned so much more ever since. It was just that all the, all the knowledge and everything I learned finally paid off in this one campaign because I was not giving up in the trenches of like, when I couldn't find the right match because it's not just about like, getting clients, signing contract, and just somehow, you know, making them some money and then being okay with that. I think it's all about, you know, finding your niche and finding their main problem and just go all in to solve that problem. Once that happens, um, everything is going to change. And this is really my story. 
And this is a this is a nutshell version, but this is really this is really it. <laughs> no, I mean, that, that's awesome. Uh, I mean, that's awesome. This is the least amount of talking I've had to do on my side for a student to do. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Um, I'm try my best, but this is really, yeah, this is really the whole story. <laughs> no, I mean, so that that's perfect. And yeah, so I mean, to do, so you, what's your um, uh, performance uh, fee? Is it 30%, 35%? Um, 25. 25%. Yeah, we charge, so you, we charge, we charge 12,000 US dollar. Um, yeah, 12,000 for 90 days as a setup fee, and then 25, 25% commission for half a year. Uh, but I guess they're not gonna, like after, like we, they already gave us more clients. So it's not gonna be like, hey, goodbye. Um, it's gonna be like a long-term partnership. They actually like became buddies, planning about how we go poly, you know, have some time together. So yeah, I, I think it's like, it's a friendship as well. So you, that, that's 38.9, I believe you said. Uh, was that your percentage of ROAS or uh, was that including your base? So yeah, um, that's not, not that's, um, that's the, that's the overall fee you get from them. And then it mm -hmm. spreads out to, because I signed the deal with Chris, Chris is my business partner and there's a 50, 50 deal. So whatever mm -hmm. we make, half of them is Chris. Chris has his own team, his own agency. Mm -hmm. So I figure that we can go further with Chris and his team. And I already learned so much from him. I think it's just, it's vice versa. He's learning from us as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a great partnership. And so we split the money. So it's actually, I actually made $20,000 profit uh, the previous month uh, from, because I did consulting as well. Um, I finally, you know, boost, like it boosted my ego. So I finally started to charge more for my consulting. So I managed to sign um, consulting deals for like 650 per hour. Um, mm -hmm. It actually feels good to consult people that I realize that 650 is maybe not a good fee. Then I might, I still feel it's low because I can just work on my own business. It's gonna be a lot, you know, more money at the end of the day. So mm. <laughs> it's interesting. It's just, mm. it's literally That's a awesome. whole, like one hour. Yeah, it's literally like a monthly salary uh, for my friends living in Hungary. So mm. it's crazy. Mm. That's awesome. And I just want to talk a little bit more about the structure of your agency. Cause right now we were talking off camera, you've got four or five clients. We were charging one to two K a month, but they're just kind of on the side, uh, that you signed, um, prior to kind of, uh, going oh, yeah. into this new venture. The hunger yeah. and clients, um, the leftover, le leftover of the hunger and clients, four or five of them, they are around like a thousand or 1500 uh, USD. So you, is your plan with them just to, keep it running until uh, eventually uh, naturally it's hard because i would love to um and it wouldn't even be a lot of work how however i understood from this experience is that it's probably going to take my it's still going to take my focus away from just niching down so my guessing is that maybe i wouldn't maybe i would say no maybe i would refer to them for a good friend um and just focus on the fitness niche. Like it, I see endless opportunities. I know what I need to do. And I know that this is going to be shitloads of work if I really want to go and be, you know, be the biggest agency for fitness influencers. And that's what I'm going to do. Like I'm a hundred and ten percent sure. No, no one's going to stop me in that. No one's going to beat me in that. I'm just going to be the biggest um, agency for health fitness influencers to scale that info product. That's what I'm going to do. Mm. So you've got those uh, four or five that you're either going to let naturally fizzle out, or you might uh, pass them on to one of your, uh, one of your uh, people in your network. You've got that one, obviously uh, big dinosaur of a client, whatever we'll, we'll figure out a name for, for uh, clients that are probably 25 K a month plus. Um, but then you've recently signed two new clients and I believe you said one is for 70% of ROAS and the other is 80%. So you basically, any profit, okay, yes, they have their organic side. So they've got the entirety of their organic side. Obviously, yeah. they're just taking 70, 80% of what you're generating by ads. But like, I'm sure someone on the other side is, of this is listening and going, okay, you know, for example, that client where your billable is 40 grand in your terms of your service fee between set and your percentage. But I mean, fair enough. If you make someone 140K for you to bill them 35 or whatever, I mean, fair enough. You know, you made them... You made them 140k. They can't complain. That you know, not, you're all, you're still not carved in stone, right? Like it was because the initial conversation was like, "Hey, can you pay us more?" And he was like, "No, no, 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 no. Let's pay just more commission." I'm like, "I don't, I would prefer more money." He was like, "No, no, no, more commission." I'm like, "Yeah, fuck it. I'm confident. Let's do this." But he was not confident at all. 
And it was like, like we took the risk. Like whatever you mm. take the risk and it goes up pretty well, that's what happens, like period. But you see in that situation, it's fair enough, as I said, because you're, you're, you're billing 25%. With these two new clients, you're billing 70 to 80%. So I know that someone on the other side of the screen is going, how the hell did you match the structure where you're basically giving them any business you bring them through ads? Um, so yeah, how'd you go about signing clients, uh, those clients, uh, for a 70 and a 80% ROAS deal? So first of all, first of all, it's not only ads. So what we're going to do for them is because they, they in the phase when they know they want to create a program, however, they have no idea how to build a landing page, how to run the ads, how to do all the backend stuff, like how to build out the emails, you know, how to do some upsell, all those stuff, how to do, you know, how to, how to just track um, every single number and data, how to analyze the data. So it's really, if you are being really honest and if you see the whole landscape of what it takes to build out a fitness program and sell it, it's really maybe 10% is to build out the program and maybe another 5% of like the customer support. And the rest, the 85% is really goes into marketing, like building out all the collaterals, you know, just like recording the testimonial videos, chopping them up. And I can, I can go for like, hours and hours of the to-do list, what you need to do. So once you, and my pitch really goes around, I just listen to them and then I try to understand what they want to do, what is their vision. And from there, all I'm doing is trying, trying to make them understand by questions that if they, if they understand how complex it is, and once they understand how complex it is, they realize that there is no way they want to do this work on their own. So really, they usually have two options, launch it, on that, launch it on their own and fingers crossed that it's going to make some money and then launch another one maybe later when it's just, when it's just you know, fizzles out. Or they can just partner with us and be sure that whatever they do, there is a 10 times multiplicator on because they have a proper mm-hmm. team. Um, so that's really the pitch. Um, 70, 80% is, if you look at this way, it's pretty fair. If it would be only ads, that wouldn't be fair. I wouldn't think that would be fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, this way, it's, it's definitely fair. And I don't think I would be able to charge 70, 80% for massive influencers. So this two, this two client, they have some followers. They have like 20, 30K on Instagram, another 20K on YouTube. So it's a good, like already a good following. Um, and the reason I onboarded them and the reason I take this risk with them is that I know both of them. Like I was watching their YouTube videos before. One of them is actually my, my personal uh, street workout trainer because I started to you know, do street workout nowadays. And so I know that they are very passionate about what they do and they are professionals. I know that the program they're going to put out is going to be top notch. So that's why I was like, okay, let's, like, let's put in the work um, and prove it that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, they'd rather take uh, 30% of 50K a month then take 100% of 2k 3k a month and yeah. that, those are the realistic numbers like because yeah. at the end of the day you know without going into detail um what a, one of my old clients one of my early clients a company called Genflow or athlete now rebranded to Genflow so I mean they yeah, yeah, basically yeah. work as you know they basically work with the biggest influencers on earth yeah, in the fitness space like I, I actually can't think of in the top 20, 30, the biggest influencers, they all, or they, they, they have something to do with it. They're doing something on the back end. So I know a lot of how much these people make from their programs and stuff like that. And you'd be surprised, you know, obviously the top guys are making, as you said, the top guys are, you know, they're doing well, but yeah. it's hyper competitive. The guys are like 20, 30 K uh, in terms of their following. Um, they're really, it, you know, they really are feeding off scraps. Um, yeah. And, and that, and that's with having a really, really strong foundation and amazing, like I'm, you know, I can't speak more highly of, of that company of incredible organization behind them. You're even going to people who have no foundation at all. <laughs> like like they're, they're the ones who are trying to like set up a Shopify store and sell an ebook through a Shopify store. <laughs> and you know, you're, you're coming in and you're just, you know, as you said, you're building a real business for them. And at the end of the day, it's, yeah, you may be taking a smaller percentage. Uh, you may be giving away a large percentage of your business, but that that business is worth a hell of a lot more. So that makes that makes total sense. Now, another question that I, I love to dig into is obviously you go on to six figure SMA, then you eventually ended up purchasing agency incubator. Um, yeah, that's, I, I forget that I'm out of the story. Yeah, I forget <laughs> that one out. Can, can I just talk about that for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. like 
So I'm like, there was this, like, I met two guys from, um, two Hungarian guys in your program, um, Gergely and Marcel. And uh, we started to be good friends because I was like, I think a lot of people feel this way. I was kind of lonely. I had, I had lots, lots of friends, but I was kind of lonely in the sense that with what I do, I couldn't really talk about this with friends. It was, I was, it was like a lonely mm. yeah, thing. Then I met Vince. You probably know Vince, the young guy yep. uh, from Hungary as well. And I met two other Hungarian guys. And so once the agency incubator came out, they were like, yeah, like, let's buy this. I'm like, yeah, let's download it again. And I was and they were like, you're already making money. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but so what? I'm Hungarian. If I can, like, that's a, that's the market. If I can download it, why would I buy it? You know, this is just cost reduction. That's like theory. Like, I would be dumb to buy it. They just start you you see, the, 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 this, this is why we brought Nikolai in six months ago. I know. I know, ever, I know. Since we brought, ever since we brought in Nikolai, there's been none of that. <laughs> no, dude, like, but, but I'm all about honesty. Like, you would realize, like, I, I'm all about honesty and transparency. I think it's missing from the word of, you know, no, dude, I, I, dude, I, dude, I love that. No, dude, I love that. I love that. And so, and so I was like, I was just about to download it. I was like, this worked, worked out pretty well so far. So let's just stick to the plan that was working. And so my friends were telling me like, dude, like, don't you feel bad? You know, like you should at least pay some money for the guy. I'm like, actually, I feel bad. I'm like, how about if I meet him in person, I'm just gonna give him, you know, I just give him the cash. That would be pretty funny. I was like, no, dude, buy it. Like, this is the time to buy it. I'm like, I was, I was making like three to 4,000 profits per month. And I was like, well, I can actually buy it if I want to. <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and then it was like, Actually, I want to be in the community as well. Like, it's all about the community. I'm lonely as fuck with what I do, so I'm just, uh, let's find more people who's in that. So I really joined for the community, uh, to be frank. Um, but I ended up watching the whole video, like every single video as well, taking notes, same process. Um, I, I'm never going to change something that works uh, for another process. So yeah, that was the story how I bought your program. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, what, what, what I was going to ask is, dude, the amount of times I remember just seeing, uh, getting tagged on your story and you're, you're videoing all, you know, all the wallpapers and, and, and the slides from, from the modules, you know, key, like key slides in the modules that I think should be drilled into people's heads and, uh, key principles and pillars that I want people, uh, drilled into their head. Like I have a, you know, in London, I have a printer and all around my house, I've got a book cliff notes. I've got, uh, even these printouts around my house that, you know, whenever I'm sitting down with a coffee instead of my phone, I'm going, I'm looking through my own printouts that I've made for agency Incubator, but I'm and copy paste agency, and I'm looking through them <laughs> myself to to reaffirm these principles. Um, but I was always impressed by you because I always I'd see you on your story. You'd have the fucking pinups all over your wall, and I was it, my question to you is like, it seemed like you genuinely followed every single action step uh, that that I laid out, and I know that a lot of people, uh, I, yeah, and that's very respectable because first of all, you're already um, you know, not as successful as you are now, but still an agency owner making 4,000 a month, probably 5,000 a month rev, 6,000 a month rev. You're already a quote unquote successful agency owner. Uh, yet you put your ego down and you followed every single fucking action step and you, um, any sort of printouts, you print it out, you stuck them up. So my question to you is, uh, and that's, as I said, that's very, very commendable is like for someone listening to this, um, how much do you think that that contributed, uh, to uh, you, you scaling up and, and you uh, growing your agency, following the action steps. It's funny Ed, because as you talk, it's currently over here. Like it's all around the place. <laughs> like notes of a high on a structure, my agency, a piece of paper that tells me to focus, <laughs> and then you know all the other all the other stuff. Um, first, I was not actually first. I was not printing out your um, because I haven't had a printer, so I, I, I was not printing this one out. But my friend, and you know the guy who was playing at your event at the yeah. clothing brand, yeah, the yeah. DJ guy, CLO. Yeah. At my birthday, he actually printed them out for me. I was like, dude, put it out. I'm like, so that's why you have amazing friends, right? Like that, that's the definition <laughs> of it. They are taking are care of friends. They are taking care of you. So yeah, to answer your question, I don't think it is doable without them. Like, I think you can build something for a while, but on, for the long run, it's just impossible to do without them. And as you, you were already talking about that, um, and Sam Evans really emphasizes this, it as well, is that if you stay the same, if you stay the same person, there is no way that you can get different results, period. So if you're going to watch 
you know, one and a half for you to be there every single day and then do whatever your agenda is. If you keep following that process, yes, you can get better in what you do as a work, but it's not going to be 10 X. It's not going to be groundbreaking. It's going to be a very slow process. And there is going to be an end to that because there is only that many time in a given day. So yeah, to answer your question, I followed every single steps. Um, some of them, like even like, and, and everyone, everyone, like, it's not like, I think people, people think that they need to follow every single one of those and just keep doing them forever. And that's the way to go. And it's all about testing. It's like, come on guys, we are marketers. If you just try it out and you see, right? Like give it 30 days, full commitment, try it out and see what happens. And that's, I think that's something I learned from sports. Same with sports. You, you train yourself, right? In the gym as well. Um, I was, I was, com I was competing as a natural bodybuilder before did powerlifting, you know, CrossFit, like all the other, like I love sports. I was even a competitive BMX rider. It's all about testing. You, you try different macros works or not try, you know, two day split, three day split. You, you try all those things out and see what happens and you have to figure out what works for you because what works for me or for Iman might not work for you, but if you don't even try stuff, how, like what's your plan then? Like, how do you want to figure out what works? Right. Mm, mm, I love that. And um, yeah, I got a, a client check-in call in four minutes, but I wish we could run this for another fucking hour or two hours. Cause I'd love to dive deep into um, how you're getting these clients, how you're structuring your agency, how you're dealing with added complexity, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, I said, dude, this has been an absolute pleasure. Um, I wish we could keep rolling for another fucking 45 minutes. We can, we can schedule a part two from... <laughs> yeah. Two, uh, 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 take uh, uh, yeah, guys, comment down below if um, you want to see you want to see him back on once he hits his first 100K month. And uh, we'll go ahead and make that happen. Um, but yeah, dude, thank you so much for your time. Uh, me too. Same here. Uh, it was an honor. Thank you so much. And guys, for watching it, I think the lesson is follow what Iman teaches, test, learn, and just, you know, stick to the process, figure out what works for you. Keep, keep chipping away. I think that's the biggest, biggest take away, take home message. Like those private victories, keep chipping away and testing. If you have this three, if you keep doing this three, you can fuck up everything else. You're going to get there. <laughs> Love it. But that's what I believe in.